Now PowerShell has a whole bunch of different ways that it can take your command output and redirect it to a different place. The magic verb to remember is out. So let's just take a look at get command for the verb out. Now out default is the one that gets used automatically. If, if you don't tell PowerShell where to redirect your output, it gets redirected to out default, which forwards it on to out host, which makes it appear on the screen. So we've already been using out default and out host without knowing it, but there's also out file. So if you've ever done something like this, well, in PowerShell, you're really just piping the output to out file, giving it a file name. There's even a, an append parameter so that you can append the output to an existing file. There's out printer if you want to send something directly to hard copy. And this is a really cool one, out grid view. Now, in order for GridView to work, you do have to have the PowerShell ISE installed, uh, which does require version 3.5, Service Pack 1, of the .NET framework. But as you can see, it prints out a really neat little sortable, criteria filterable uh, little grid that you can do. And it's, it's a great little dynamic thing to work with. Nice and gooey flavored. Gets you out of the command line for a second for a break. So those are all of the out commandlets that PowerShell comes with. As we talk about adding things into the shell, you'll find that some extensions create additional out possibilities.